Daniel 8, verse 23. And in the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors are come to the full, a king of fierce countenance and understanding dark sentences shall stand up. Daniel 11, verse 21. And in his estate shall stand up a vile person, to whom they shall not give the honor of the kingdom. But he shall come in peaceably and obtain the kingdom by flatteries. Revelation 22, verse 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. On May 9, 2023, Insider published an online article called The 26 Women Who Have Accused Trump of Sexual Misconduct. According to Insider, these sexual allegations directed at Trump by many of these women go all the way back to the 1970s. Recently, a Manhattan jury found Trump liable for the sexual abuse of columnist E. Jean Carroll. I'm not going to name all 26 women who have accused Donald Trump of sexual misconduct, however, I find it interesting that Ivana Marie Trump, Donald Trump's first wife, is on that list. Ivana Marie passed away recently. I also want to note that Donald Trump has been married three times and divorced twice. And there has been a lot of media coverage in the past concerning Donald Trump's many alleged affairs. Donald Trump's first wife was Ivana, his second wife was Marla Maples, and his third wife is currently Melania. When confronted about these sexual allegations, Insider states that Donald Trump claims he's never met most of these women, or if he has met them before, they are just after him for his money. Donald Trump keeps insisting that these sexual allegations directed at him are simply false. I moved on her, actually. You know, she was down in Palm Beach. I moved on her, and I failed. I'll admit it. Whoa. I did try and <laughs> her. She was married. It's huge news, Sarah. No, no, Nancy. Yeah. No, this was... And I moved on her very heavily. In fact, I took her out furniture shopping. She wanted to get some furniture. I said, I'll show you where they have some nice furniture. <laughs> I took her out furniture. I moved on her like a bitch. But I couldn't get there. And she was married. And all of a sudden, I see her. She's now got the big phony tits and everything. She's totally changed her look. She's your girl's hot as shit. In the purple. Whoa. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. Yes, the Donald is scored. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my man. Wait, wait. You got to look at me when you get out of your life. That is very Will you give me the thumbs up? Okay, you are a piece. You got to put the thumbs up. You got to okay. get the thumbs up. Okay. Can't be too happy. Can we else off first? Yeah, let me. It's very funny. You got to give the thumbs up. Uh, you and I will walk there. Oh my god. Maybe it's a different one. Better not be the public. No, it's, it's her. It's her. Yeah, that's her. With the gold. I'm going to use some Tic Tacs just in case I start kissing her. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. <laughs> I can do anything. Look at those legs. All I can see is the legs. No, it looks good. Come on, shorty. Oh, nice legs, huh? Oof, get out of the way, huh? It's a good night. Go ahead. It's always good if you don't fall out of the bus. Like Ford, Gerald Ford, remember? <laughs> Down below. Pull the hand. Hello, how are you? Hi. Mr. Trump, how nice are you? Nice seeing you. Terrific. Nice to meet you. Terrific. You know Billy Bush? Hello, how are you? nice to see you. How are you doing, Ariel? I'm doing very well, thank you. Are you ready to be a soap star? We're ready. Let's go. Make right. me a soap star. How about a little hug for the Donnelly? You just got off the bus. Like a little okay, hug, absolutely. <laughs> Melania said this was bushy. okay.
Okay. Donald, do you ever discuss sex with your daughter? No. You do not? No. You've never sat down? I have a feeling we're not going to hear. <laughs> yeah, no. And another embarrassing video from a 2006 Donald, Howard Stern show has surfaced. No. It shows no. Trump no. alongside no. daughter Ivanka no. and son no. Don no. Jr. joking no. about being a sexual no. predator. You you know about sexual predators and things like that. No. I mean, uh, You sure. are one. All right. That, I was going to say that. But that, it's true. <laughs> And you're probably, I would say, the greatest judge of beauty on this planet. In fact, I would create a TV show for you where all you did was just judge women. Now, that may be the best idea of all. It's a simple thing. It's a half hour, and we strip it out all over no, the I country. I would say I'm the all-time judge. You own this pageant. You go over. You look, you're meeting the girls. Like, one of them comes up to you and says, Mr. Trump. You're a very sexy man. You're a beautiful man. You have fantastic hair. Well, you're a powerful man. <laughs> right? Right? You're right. a powerful man. Right. I want to sleep with you. Now, you're not the type that would say no. I, I don't want to hurt their feelings. Right. No, right. but I mean, you see a beautiful woman. You want to, right. you want to have that. You're, well, not, you're well, a guy you who likes to have that. everything. Right? Well, couldn't that be construed, however, as... Um Conflict? Yes. Well, I don't. I don't see it as a conflict. It could be a conflict of interest, but you know, it's the kind of thing you worry about later. Oh, I see. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you tend to think about the conflict a little bit later the on. The question is, how can it not be construed? It's no, I mean, I mean, some of these foreign girls, you know, Mr. Trump, in my country, we say hello with the vagina. <laughs> and well, you could also say, as the owner of the pageant, it's your obligation to do that. So, so you have done that. Now, tell well, me I'll tell you the funniest is that I'll go backstage before a show. Yes. And everyone's getting dressed and ready and everything else. And, you know, no men are anywhere. And I'm allowed to go in because I'm the owner of the pageant and therefore I'm inspecting it. You know, I'm inspecting. Right, I right. want to make sure that you're like everything doctor, is good. You're, you're there. Yeah, the dress. Is everyone okay? You know, they're <laughs> yeah. standing there with no clothes. Is everybody okay? And you see these incredible looking women. And so I sort of get away with things like that.